Hello and welcome. So we've had a question today regarding what type of tenants you should aim for in your HMOs. Now this is a question that we get asked a lot by um, new clients really. They might have seen um, HMOs presented or promoted as a particular strategy that they should be kind of focusing on um, in today's kind of market. And HMOs do work very well, but it's not just as simple as saying, go out there and buy HMO or do HMO. There's lots of things to consider. Um, part of that is gonna be the tenant profile. So whether you should focus on maybe the social housing market, or whether you should look at local housing allowance, professional tenants, students, and um, there's a range of different tenant profiles that you can attract with a HMO. This ultimately comes down to personal preference um, in terms of you may or may not have a particular preference one way or another in terms of what profile you will prefer to rent the property to. But for many investors, it comes down to ultimately the returns. What yield is gonna generate them the best return? Now, where we see this performing best is usually on the professional kind of tenant market or the social housing market. We've done a very in-depth um, kind of case study on this where we break down the different kind of running costs of both um, and ultimately which kind of tenant profile we typically prefer. Now, we do do both. We do social housing and professional tenants um, for our HMOs and also for clients when we do property sourcing. We don't tend to do local housing allowance type HMOs anymore. Um, that's from personal experience, how they've gone when we've kind of run with them, um, the different issues that are created within that typ typical kind of tenant profile type of property as well. Um, we've favored the social housing market and the professional tenants market. And I'll put a link below this particular video um, to the case study, because that'll go into a lot more depth than I can do in this kind of quick video. But that'll give you a bit of an insight in terms of how the figures and stuff work out. Um, and yeah, why we favor those kind of tenant profiles essentially. So hope that that helps. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this content and you'd like to join our free online property training course, we've got a link for it on this page. And in there we cover a range of different property strategies to help you get started, either building a long-term property portfolio or creating a cash flowing property business. We also look at ways to increase your return on investment with any of the property you're maybe considering. And we also have a couple of cheat sheets and downloadable documents in there as well. Simply click on the link to join the free training course today.